Good morning, everyone. Now, this past year, we encountered some of the greatest challenges that isolated and impacted us mentally, emotionally, and physically, like learning how to adjust to our online environment. We were learning how to live in a COVID world, all while thousands were losing their life to the virus. Now, in spite of the challenges this past year has presented us with, you've stayed strong, you dug deep, and you found substantial tenacity, ambition, and the strength to continue achieving your academic goals. And today, we are here. Congratulations, my fellow classmates, to the spring class of 2021. Now, for the past several years, I've had the honor of championing and applauding four graduating classes acquire their certificates or associate degrees that they earned at SFCC, and I know they were eager to put it to work. I'm personally familiar with all of the many long nights and weekends doing homework and research, research assignments, study, registering for late starting courses, and at times, hair pulling from frustration. But as we move forward today, you know that your hard work and dedication has finally paid off. Please take a moment to give yourself recognition for your achievement, whether that be a pat on the back, a round of applause, or celebrating with loved ones. Because guess what? You did it. Now, two years ago, as a newly elected officer to the SGA, my only desire was to make a difference in students' lives. I wanted to make SFCC more student-centered, give students an opportunity to shine in a world where treating someone with disrespect seem more suitable than to treat someone with dignity and kindness. I dedicated my time to researching what best practices and what other student governments were practicing, looking how to modify, improve, and bring those practices to SFCC has been quite the experience. In addition to SGA, I also had an opportunity to work as the student employee for the foundation office where I was able to interact with donors, board members, and members of the community. Although nothing will be as rewarding as having a personal conversation with the student about how they can receive some of the foundation scholarships to make their college education feasible. This successful journey is a combined effort between family, friends, and educators. So please thank them for helping you accomplish this honorable milestone. This is your time to be proud. To Kelly and Deborah and the foundation, I can't express the amount of gratitude I have to you both for allowing me the opportunity to be part of the foundation. You've taught me such valuable skills and I'm forever grateful for the experience and support that you've provided me. Now Kelly always told me to never doubt myself or what I'm capable of. And I share her message with you today. Lastly, to my mom and my dad, thank you for supporting me. Thank you for believing in me. And thank you for allowing me to be me. Remember, the world is yours, so make an everlasting impression. And remember, no matter how far you go or no matter how far your wings take you, remember where you started your educational journey, where you built your foundation. That's right here at home, at SFCC. I cannot express the heartwarming joy that I have enough sharing this moment and celebrating this moment with you all. Congratulations, my classmates, to the SFCC Spring Class of 2021, the class that will build back better. Thank you.